Michael, congratulations. That's a fabulous performance here in the Winter Gardens. Is that the biggest first round draw and performance you've ever put in here? In here? In the, in the Winter yeah, Gardens? Yeah, in the Winter Gardens, yeah, probably under this show in terms of the way I'll be, I've been playing lately, of course. We all know I'm not in massive form and we all know this was going to be a tough one for me, but then to actually do it, yeah, that gives a lot of joy. Then you know when I feel how much love I got for the game and I always keep battling, of course, also my own battles, but I get everything and anyone. And uh, that was a tough one, but then to win it, it yeah, gives a lot of, uh, yeah, does a lot to me. With darts in general for you, is it just a battle against yourself and no one else right now? Mm, yes and no, of course, we all know what I just said, it's been a, a tough half the uh, last six months, but uh, I'm not playing superbly bad or something, do you know what I mean? But tonight I, I think I did the right thing for myself, uh, my focus was there, the absolute will to win was there, the total package was complete tonight and then you can see I can put them on a low pressure and I was also, I think by far the better player in the game. First time in a long time going into a tournament, no one's talking about Michael Van Gerwen winning the tournament. They're asking, can you get through a first round tie? Do you think they're talking about you now? hope so. We're going to see. But I, I, I'm not really a guy who listens a lot to outside information, you know. I mean, that will come on your path automatically anyway. For me, it's more important. I need to make sure I do the right thing for myself. And, Keep on top of things, make sure I keep my, uh, put the guys under pressure and of course I have to deal with this first round. It's not an easy one. When the draw comes out, you know you're going to have the most tough draw of the tournament, simple as that. But I did it. Michael, congratulations. Thank you. Michael, when you put in a performance like that, do you sort of forget about the, the form over the last of course, few Of course, you have to forget about it. If you keep thinking about bad, bad performances, bad habits, that's not going to be good for you. So I'm, you need to stay positive. If you're a negative person, you're never going to make it. Simple as that. You saw how much it meant to you at the end. Do you get more satisfaction from the win over Luke than any other player? No, no, well, no. <laughs> I got a few more, man. Don't worry about that. But that's it, that's how darts works. To 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 win against guys in form is always nice. Michael, when you were doing the screen for you there. It seems a lot of emotion. You seem to be kind of really quite emotional. Yeah, but I'm all, you, you know me. I'm always emotional, especially after win, because there was a lot of stories about this game. I was not the favourite. I've been having a tough last six months, and then to win games like this, that does something with me, of course. But I only see it in a good way, in a positive way. In a positive, positive way means, okay, I still like what I do. It still does something with me. If it doesn't do anything with you anymore. It's for me the time to retire, but I'm not in that position yet, and I wouldn't be in the next five, six, seven, eight, or ten years. I'm going to keep annoying them. One thing we know about you: that you're a fierce competitor. <coughs> you Sorry? Are, you're a fierce competitor and hugely hungry to carry on. And well, I didn't know what the first word said. Uh, what it means? Like really strong competitor. Yeah. yeah. Am I? Uh, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, should people fear? The fact that perhaps you're, you maybe feel that your back's to the wall, that when you... Ah, to, to say I'm back now is a, it's a big statement, but I'm on, I'm on a good way, I'm on a good path. Uh, don't worry about me. I, I know what I'm capable of and I'm mentally I'm strong enough, but you have, to, you have to keep digging, you have to keep grafting, you have to keep working and keep investing time in yourself, otherwise you're never going to make it. Michael, how much do you think the extra experience that you've got on that stage helped you in your win against I don't think it's experience, I think it's also a little bit of ability to be fair. <laughs> a little bit. And we've seen this year on the Premier League and on the Euro Tour, you've put in monster averages and then in the next match you've really struggled. Exactly. How, how do you but sort of That's stop why I'm that? glad today wasn't a monster average, <laughs> it was a good game, but it wasn't a monster average. So do you feel like that, that can almost... No, no, we, I, I've seen it most of the times in the, probably in the last six, eight, ten, whatever you want to call it, month that I put in a good performance and a game after, but now for me is to answer it. I did answer this question to everyone, am I still capable of doing things? Yes, I do. Can I still do it in the next round? You're going to, show, you're going to see it in the next round. You're going to see it in the next round. And you won this tournament two years ago, so it's £200,000 in your ranking that you're defending. Do you think about that at all? Is that no, more it pressure? Is what, it is what it is. Uh, I'm capable of... Uh, Doing things on tournaments anyway, and if you, you always have to defend. 
uh, last year I had to defend, or when, whenever it was, I had to defend the worlds, and that's the way how drafts is. You know, there's a ranking. It counts for two years, or so two years later, you have to, yeah, make sure you try to equalize your money. But that's just side information. You, the only thing what's more uh, important for me, I need to make sure I keep keep working hard and keep digging. Well done, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, you've had countless uh, battles with Luke already in the Premier League. And, 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 he's not even, and he's not even on the circuit so long. <laughs> exactly. And we played ten times so far. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but this is probably the first time where you've gone into a, a match in years where you've been the clear underdog to, to some people, to the bookies and whatnot. But that's why the bookies are not clever. <laughs> did, you, did you feel that added pressure? No, no, no. Did you feel no, any no, different no. at all? I put pressure enough on myself as therefore no. I, I always demand a high standard of myself and when I don't do it I'm the first one, first person to quit my own game. So I don't need anyone else to, to tell me what I have to do or why I did wrong. I know why I do wrong or why I do well or why I do good. And today I think I did a lot of good things and that's positive. Is that most satisfying way you so far? Yeah, 100%, especially with this kind of format in this kind of important tournament for people forget. I think after the World Champions and the Premier League, this is the most important tournament of the year. So uh, people can say whatever they want. It, it, it was a really massive win for me. You're already done. You, you asked your questions already, aren't you? <laughs> Thank right. you. Obviously, as we've alluded to, you've played Luke a fair few times in the Premier League. Does that change the dynamic between you when you go on a big stage like this? Different format, different sort of level? No, it doesn't change the dynamic. For me, it's more important. I, 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 of course, uh, in the Premier League, it's different because you play each other so many times. It starts to get a little bit normal. But here, it's not about dynamic, it's about the beast has to come out of you. You have to perform, you can't let yourself down. And I'm really glad I didn't. And do you think coming into it you have the advantage? Based Sorry, on I didn't hear you, mate. Coming into this, do you think you have almost an advantage in a sense because you have more experience in the longer leg form? Of course, I, of course I had an advantage on him, on experience, but I think he had an advantage on current form. I think he's been good, he's been playing really well, but we also can see that he's not unstoppable. And this is a sign maybe also for the rest of the players who are scared of him to face it to do the right thing, to play your own game instead of his game. We know he's big and he's a lot of following and he did well for the sport and everything. You still have to battle your own uh, games, you know what I mean? You have to keep fighting. Uh, Michael, <coughs> sorry. Um, obviously, you've come into most tournaments as the favourites and you've come into most matches as the favourites and usually the first round is to see what level you're at. But obviously, this is a, an exceptional game between two good players with yeah. yourself and Luke. Was there any thinking going into the match of going, right, I want to put in a really good marker or was it just get the job done, win the match, go No, no, the I want to put in a good game. I wasn't, I wasn't having the big mouth what I sometimes have before. Um, I think I was, of course, I, I'm not stupid. I think, of course, I was also the other deck and I had to prove a point tonight. That's why the game was that important for me and that's why I'm so happy with this outcome tonight. We're winning the game. So that does a lot of me, that gives me a lot of energy and from there on you can go on to the next one. And from the World Cup, obviously, you played really well at Blighter, an early exit, but you took that farm from the World Cup. Into, yeah, I think I played well there. I yeah. think I played well there. So then I had a few days nice away with my uh, wife and kids to Ibiza. I had a few, a few nice days re relaxing. I didn't do a lot there. So uh, yeah, good. I, I enjoyed it. And then to to kick off here in this tournament with a lovely win is always uh, gives a lot of uh, energy. Yeah, good for me. So momentum obviously going forward and looking at the final. Or looking to no, no, no. Game. First, next round, game by game, don't make any mistakes. I've been making mistakes too many lately, so uh, no.